Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back and I have an interesting video for you. Today I want to talk about the Outlight A100 tactical flashlight. This is a good flashlight for under $20. It's 900 lumens. And so if you're on a budget, I think you might want to take a look at this flashlight. So stay with me. I hope you enjoy the video. We're going to open this thing up and take a look and I'm going to show this flashlight. Okay, when you get the package, this is what you get. This is the kit. I'll put a description box down below. I'll put a link to where I picked this up on Amazon. I paid $18.99. So this is made in China, but here is the label. Again, this is the A100 Out Light. It's 900 lumens. <coughs> so when you get it, you first open the box and you see that it's full of stuff. The first thing that we're going to pull out right here is this battery holder. What this does is this allows the flashlight to use conventional batteries. These are AAA batteries right here. And this is just a little adapter. You put the flat side on the spring. One. Flat side on the spring here. Two. And three. And now you have a power source for this flashlight. The next thing you see is this little plastic sleeve. And some of you out there might be wondering what this is for. What this sleeve is for is for the battery. This is a standard 18650 rechargeable battery. Okay, this is a lithium ion battery. It looks like a AA battery on steroids. This battery is 3.7 volts and it runs at 3600 milliamp hours. That's a pretty high rating. So the sleeve houses the battery. The reason you need the sleeve to house the battery is so that when you put this 18650 battery in the flashlight, <clears throat> you don't have a lot of play because the diameter of the adapter versus the standard 18650 battery, the adapter is a little bit bigger. So they give you the little sleeve to compensate for the difference of when they manufactured the flashlight. So the next thing you see in here is a nice little touch. This is a nice little addition to the kit. This is not the actual flashlight itself. This is just a little light for your keychain. I think this is a really nice touch that Olight did, excuse me, Outlight did for this kit. I think this is cool. It runs on three coin cell batteries and when you get it you'll see that there's a little piece of plastic white piece of plastic against the batteries so that they cannot come in contact with the spring here so that the light doesn't come on. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. I'm not ready to use this just yet. I'll probably fire it up tonight though and show you how bright this is. But it's got that. It's got a little push switch on the back. It's got a little moon and a star just like that and a little lens on the front. I don't know if this front portion comes off. I'm not sure. I'm trying, but it's 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 either really tight or not want to come off. But that is your keychain light. I thought that was cool. <clears throat> the next thing in the package here is a charger. This charger will charge the 18650 rechargeable lithium lithium ion batteries. These guys right here. Now, this charger has an LED light indicator right here. This light will be two colors it will be either red or green. If I was to put the battery in this charger right now, the light will turn green. So I'm going to use the flat side of the battery against the spring. I'll pop that baby in and you see the light turn green. So when I plug this in to the wall, this light will turn from green to red, showing that it's charging. And when the light when the battery is finished charging, that light will go from red back to green and this charger uh, fluctuates in time I've seen people that say that this charger will charge a battery in like three or four hours and then I've heard other people say 
that this charger takes like 17 18 hours to charge the flashlight battery now personally I don't know uh, I haven't charged it yet I did put the battery on earlier and it was on there for about two hours and it was still uh, red so that's about all I can say right now here is some instructions amazon.com slash shops slash out light here are some of the specs on the flashlight again it has five modes as you can see right here it's got high medium low strobe and SOS you can adjust the zoom of the light I'll show you that here in a second so it does have adjustable focus and this is basically just a rundown of what was in the package that I talked about there's the tail switch on the flashlight I'll talk about that in a second there's the sleeve that I mentioned that goes around the battery and there is this piece right here so I already showed pretty much everything that this says in this manual let me set that aside there is another piece of literature that talks about the uh, battery charger here is some information on the battery that comes now look at this capacity 2600 but then this one says 3600 so which one is it good question right it says lithium-ion battery uh, charge time between five and seven hours so there we go this is the back talking about the charger it, it again it has a cord for a standard household outlet right here in America the light on the charger turns green and it means the battery has been fully charged again it'll be green if you do not have the charger plugged in and there's a battery in there here is the warranty information for the for the flashlight a little bit of information there so now I've been waiting folks let's take a look at the flashlight now before I show you the flashlight let me show you that there are three o-rings included in the bag which the flashlight came in <clears throat> here here we go here's the flashlight you see a little bit of information on there now this zoom you can pull this out away from the body of the flashlight see that and it will zoom in and out it kind of reminds me of a camera lens so the light gets a little longer gets a little shorter and it's kind of a tight little adjustment not bad though it's got a good feel to it but there's a quick look at the flashlight this is telling you approximately what your ranges could look like here's the tail switch it has a nice little lanyard already included in the flashlight pre-installed you can unthread this back portion of the tail switch and remove that you can look inside and see what's going on inside that's a look at the flashlight now there's one of the three o-rings well remember we had three spares that's that's where they go right there now this flashlight is water resistant it's not waterproof it's water resistant meaning if you're getting rained on or something like that it's going to be fine but it's not designed to go under water so you could put this in this is the battery adapter with the AAA batteries close that now if you look at the lens right here you can unthread this lens and this is a very thick kind of magnifying lens almost so if you were in a survival situation you could probably use this pretty effectively to capture the sun's rays and ignite some sort of charred material put that charred material once you capture an ember on it put that charred material into a tinder bundle and then you could blow that tinder bundle to life into flames so there's another little o-ring right around there it's a black one you can barely see it so there's this is an aluminum piece and this uh, lens is actually plastic the body of the flashlight is also aluminum so that just threads right on 
So you got water protection there and you have water protection here, but I don't know if there's anything in this area that protects the flashlight. So let's go ahead and push this tail switch. There's low, or excuse me, that was medium, that's low. Oh, my bad. That was high, medium, and now we're on low. There's strobe. There's SOS. High, medium, and low. Now how I'm switching modes is I'm pushing my thumb on the tail switch right here. Half away, I'm doing a half of a push. If I push all the way like that, I turn the flashlight on or off. But once I'm on, I push it half the way. Strobe. SOS. High. Medium. And low. Now, to adjust your focus, you can push this forward and you can get all the way down to the full beam of the flashlight. You can see that that's kind of a square. So we're on strobe. Now we're on SOS. High, medium, and low. Back to strobe. Turn it off. So this is a pretty cool little flashlight. Whoops. There's high. So again, you can adjust your your focus by bringing this in and out. It's a bright flashlight. 900 lumens is no joke. Now I've noticed, I've played with this thing with the three AAA batteries and I've also played with it using the 18650 battery and to be completely honest with you, they're both about the same brightness. There's low, strobe, SOS, high. So folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today on this video with the Outlight 900 lumen A100 flashlight. I hope you got some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below, like this video, share this video, and if you like the content that you see on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you. And until next time folks, have a beautiful day. Now get out there and get you one of these Outlight LED A100s. This is a good flashlight. At the end of this clip, at the end of this video rather, I am going to be putting in some footage of this flashlight operating at nighttime. Enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye. Low. Strobe. SOS. High. Medium. Low. Strobe. SOS. Even though it's still daytime, you can see in the background, about six feet away, I have a brick wall, a block wall. And I have the Outlight A100 flashlight. I'm just out of curiosity, I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to zoom it all the way in. You can see the pattern on the wall there. You can see that even in broad daylight, this thing's pretty bright. So that's high. There's medium. Oops, excuse me. There's flashing. SOS. High. Medium and low. Strobe. SOS. High. Medium. 
and low. Not bad. Pretty bright little light. SOS. Now, if I adjust the focus a little bit, you can see that it kind of focuses out almost into nothing. We're going to come back tonight and take a look. Okay, I'm outside right now. Here's a look at the light. I'm going to shine it straight down at the ground. So we are on low. Or excuse me, that was high. There's medium. There's low. There's strobe. There's SOS. There's high. You can see that I can dial it down or I can open it up. That truck there is about 35 feet away. See my boat over here? That's on high. Whoops. High. Medium. And low. Strobe. SOS. There's high again. You can see very clearly. I like it about like that. This is a nice flashlight, folks.